Yo guys, what is up? It's your boy Rico64 here, back again with another video. Today we're going to be playing some Toontown, believe it or not. This is going to be a comparison video between the most recent 1.3 update for Corporate Clash, their Toontorial, versus what Toontown Rewritten's Toontorial currently is. I was thinking at first I was just going to go through my old footage of the first Let's Play I did to showcase what exactly that Toontorial looks like. I didn't think that would be fair for Toontown Rewritten. I don't know if they've changed anything. So I figured rather than make something that's super outdated and compare it to something new, I'll just make a current video showcasing exactly what the tutorial is for rewritten and then showcase exactly what the tutorial is for corporate clash i hope you guys are doing well and i'm actually pretty damn excited for uh corporate clash's most recent update and i plan to make some more videos and potentially stream if my connection allows it so no i haven't recorded in freaking forever so apologies in advance life's getting kind of out of hands but what can you do man it's just life so I'm definitely not going to be the first Andy like I normally am with these types of videos. I'm sure there's already going to be 10 other people who have made a video similar or exactly the same to this. To that I say, good job, well done. Hopefully I can add something to the conversation. Roger Pegelberry. There's going to be something. Poe Crunch and Boing. That's pretty good. Granny Hazel. That's oddly specific. I'll pick that. Okay, so congratulations, you're Toontown, Toontown's newest citizen. Would you like to continue the tutorial? Yes. So this is the whole thing I'm trying to showcase. Here's the tutorial. Sorry for my hideous purple monkey. I know I probably offended somebody, right, by saying that. I'm sure they thought that that was the best character I've ever made. But I do not like... I'm not a big fan of the obese tunes. I like the skinny tunes, dude. You gotta be healthy, all right? Eating too many fucking pies. So the tutorial looks just about damn identical to what it was in Toontown Online, at least from my memory. And it also looks exactly the same as to when I made the first Let's Play video, which is probably in 2013 or something similar. Maybe 2013, 2015, I'm not 100% sure. First video got deleted so when I got hacked, so I don't have the official timestamp on there anymore. <clears throat> These cogs, they do business trying to run over Toontown, all sorts of cogs. Turn happy, tune buildings into ugly cog buildings. Yeah, this is literally word for word exactly the same. The only question though is, on the first Let's Play I did, he did not have legs. So will he have legs? That's the real question here. Guys, go ahead and uh, throw that in the comments section. Do you think he will have legs when he uh, comes out of this little spot here? Yes or no? Do you think they fixed it? I'm going with a, I'm going with a yes. I think they fixed it. We'll see if you're right. Happy Tunes is a healthy tune. Yeah, I'll be green all day, baby. Yeah, you just noticed that. First tune test, defeat a flunky. Okay, do you have legs? Yep, that, I see legs. I see legs. Myth busted. We'll see, once he pops out, though, that's when, like, when you complete the task, I'm pretty sure he teleports to you. And then that's when he had no legs. So that'll be the real dead giveaway. So they really don't teach you much of anything it's just a little slideshow presentation right before and then giant classic youtube thumbnail red arrows pointing directly at where you need to go seems like my sound effects are off is that true it seems like i'm not getting sound effect volume that's too bad yeah definitely not on Oh well, you get the same effect, dude. So literally the exact same. The tutorial took about 10 seconds. If you got... <laughs> if your single digit IQ, it might take you like five minutes or something, but it's very simple. This process is very simple. I'm curious on how they... Uh, the comparisons between this and what will be the new tutorial that's in Corporate Clash. He has legs, guys. I confirm he has legs. No more legless tutorial, Tom. Okay, giving me the sticker book. Double red arrow YouTube thumbnail coming at me again. Yikes, you fucking suck, kid. That's what he's saying to me. Okay, so I can go on the trolley now. It's telling me how to go on the trolley. You guys know what happens from here. There's really nothing different when it comes down to it. The only thing that I could possibly think of is I think they might have changed where Flippy's location is on this in comparison to what it was in the OG. Okay, here we go. Flippy, my man. If you don't say you stink here... You haven't played this game enough. It's the first thing you should say. You stink. And then he says, very good. Speed chat. You stink. Very good again. And then Mickey's Toon Hall is what I want to see because I want to draw a comparison to what the tutorial is on the other game. 
I feel like I don't really need... Okay, dude, they're really gonna gatekeep me on this. If I don't get the cannon game, dude, I'm gonna rage quit. That's the other thing for this too, right? So, uh, at least from my memory, there's no way to skip games, like trolley games on this, which is just quality of life, you know? Nobody wants to play the fucking tune memory game. I'm sorry, dude. Nobody wants to play that shit. But we're probably gonna get it now that I called it out. Oh my gosh, Fat Pancake. Oh, I couldn't even trolley troll him, dude. Dude's got literal nub legs. I don't know how he keeps his body up. Okay, Tug of War isn't bad. I'll actually accept that. I'll accept that this time. Fat Pancake better be carrying his fucking weight, though, man. Fat Pancake is really struggling here, man. He is not helping me much at all. There we go. He was my anchor, and I feel like I was hyper-carrying. The gag shop. Yeah, we get it. I can't even get all my gags, dude. What a goddamn embarrassment. They got new buttons. That, that at least seems nice. New flashier buttons. Right, let me buy a couple of those. So that's changed from the original. Those buttons are definitely not the same. Dude, you gotta be kidding me, man. All I wanna do is go to Mickey's Toon Hall. We got LeBron James over here. Actually fucking massive. Snapped his neck going through that door. Finally. That's all I want to see. I don't want to do any more tasks, man. I just want to see how it is and how it compares. So we've got the silly meter, right? That's definitely new. At least the way I see it, right? There wasn't buttons and all this jazz for it. So they've got that in here. They got all these scientists that are standing around the gate, not doing shit. They're really turning their hands and looking at their notepads, pressing buttons. They're all observing. And then inside here, we got Flippy's office. So that's it. That's it. So now we want to compare this to what will be the Corporate Clash tutorial. And so I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, guys, here we are on Corporate Clash now. This is the version 1.3.0.7. So we're going to make a new tune. We got all of our boys here. Dude, perfect peak laugh right there. <clears throat> Man, they just love giving me the fat tune. Okay, I'll do a LeBron James. I'll do a LeBron James tune. Okay, I'll take the dank shorts. Deputy Tricky Biggin Pounce. Jelly Roll Crunching Corn. Crunchy Corn. Jelly Roll Crunchy Corn. That could be taken a bunch of ways. So. They'll review my name. It's a pick a name, dude. How could they do that? Okay, enter tutorial. You can already tell things are a lot different, dude. You can already tell it's gonna be a lot different. Oh my god, dude, the fucking cutscene right out the gate. Roll me on the red carpet, will you, dude? Holy crap. Animated arm going on the chalkboard. Holy shit, dude, this animation is raw. Whoever did this, dude, whoever did this, the arm animating and changing shit on the chalkboard, moving up the disgusting cream pie that's dangling from the top of the black or whiteboard, blackboard, whatever it is, man and tilting it, dude. A fully animated board. All right, kudos to you, man. Professor Pete, here's that tune I was talking about earlier. Mind showing them the ropes? Okay, there's a training room now. So you guys remember, before it was uh, Tutorial Tom was sitting behind his desk that he could not leave. And he was just like, oh, look outside my window, go kill that cog, I'll give you two gags. Right now, we got Professor Pete with this nice nameplate here, a stepped-on banana peel, and an entire training room. Hi there, friend. Let's get the simple stuff out of the way. You can move your tune with the movement keys. What's sad? What's sad? All right, now try jumping. The fall button, the space bar. I'm pretty sure it's control for me, yeah. So I changed it to control. Looking good. Speaking of looking, you can rotate your camera by holding right click. So that's, I don't know if that's a thing in rewritten. I don't think it is, right? To really get moving, try sprinting. Hold button to shift. I don't know, am I, okay, yeah, I'm definitely running. Dude, take a look at this, man. Look at this, look at this classroom, man. Gag training for dummies. I want, dude, that'd be so cool to just make a couple of those books. I know they're duplicated and stuff, but this is a cool little winding room. And then posters on the walls, too. So hang in there from the that rope game. Take a splash. Doodle, don't be afraid to get messy. 
I wonder if these are all staff that made these art pieces, or if this is stuff that they grabbed from the community. I think either way, it's pretty fucking cool. Inspire. Relax, remember to take breaks. Cranes are cool. That's a- that's really good art, man. That's solid. I love the- the boss on that, too. Holy crap. Sorry, I'm geeking over this stuff, dude. Whenever I see some, like, positive change like this in Toontown, it just makes me want to play again. And I haven't played this game in a long time. Might want to get that support beam checked out, though. Okay, training room is where we're gonna go. I didn't mean to bump into you there, Professor Pete, but you will now force me into that zone. Alright, so give me the laugh meter. Approach the dummy over there. So is this desk jockey like a new uh, cog or is this purely used as training? I mean, the, the actual bot itself looks like it's just used as training, but is that a new type of cog? Okay, it tells you about the battle interface. That's good too, because some of this shit confused me back when I first started playing with all the new updates and stuff. It's a lot, it's, especially in comparison to how simplified the game is before, it's a lot of information. They even got the YouTube red thumbnail uh, cancer arrows on this one too. Cogs of their own panels will kick to the top that shows their health and level, which is something that is needed for me. <laughs> I, I'm not good at that memory stuff with it. Most importantly, we have an inventory of gags smack dab in the middle. Each row represents a gag track walking through, using, walking you through the uses of each one. See, that's crazy though, right? Like it, the, the original tutorial does not tell you shit about how the gags work and everything, and how you're supposed to use them. And then so you have, like you're almost, you're almost uh, cyber bullied into figuring it out, especially like not picking lure in my case when I first started playing. You gotta make sure you lock into, which at least it's hovering, like it it cycles through colors to let you know that that's the button you gotta press. No YouTube red thumbnail on that one, but... So now he's soaked, which hopefully they tell you about. If not, as you might have noticed, it took some damage from the number that popped up. Yes, also it became soaked, which is good that they tell you that, like, what that does or what it means. Status effect, which you can see slotted on that COGS panel, which you hover over it and you see it. Red YouTube thumbnail to show you where to go. So cogs have minus 10% dodge and or chance and are vulnerable to zap gags. So once it gets hit by, hit by zap, it removes the effect. Time to use a drop, and we're using that because it has less uh, dodge chance. But it's good that it tells you that because the squirt, uh, it being soaked, is a new mechanic in comparison to people who uh, play rewritten. You're, instead of speculating, right, that... Uh, Instead of speculating that Squirt it decreases the dodge rate, like in Rewritten or any other game, really, it tells you straight up with a status effect, too, which is very nice. Okay, hit that. We got bonus combo damage, so all hits. He's got 110, level 9? Jesus, dude. I don't even know if I'm hitting the right one here, and this is where... Who knows? I mean, it's a level 1, right? So I should definitely hit the guy on the right side with it, and then the other guy will die by collateral. Yeah, okay, cool. Dude's got pencil sharpeners on the back of his neck. That's a cool animation, too. Holy crap. That was a good animation. My man's no longer soaked, though. We're just cycling through all the gags off of this guy. That's what they're having us do. They're not even attacking us. He isn't soaked anymore now that Zap has hit. Yep, splash damage, exactly. Now we're gonna use the lure gag. Will use a trap? No. Who needs it?
Blurred is a status effect. Yep, showing you too. I'm surprised it hasn't warned you to say you shouldn't use sound on lured cogs. This is ridiculously specific, which for people that played the old game, they probably need this. So it's good. It doesn't leave much room for questions. Just kind of how you want a tutorial to be. Because let's be real, right? Like, everybody hates tutorials. I feel like I do. You know, maybe I'm just making a broad generalization. I hate tutorials. So making it as fun as possible while also making sure that you understand the basic concepts of the game is, like, absolutely essential. Otherwise, like, the people who are getting into the game are people who have, like, in my opinion, for this game especially, are people who have played, like, Toontown in the past. And so if they don't know exactly how the new mechanics work, they're extremely likely to just fucking quit if they don't understand it, especially if they're getting made fun of by, like, some elitist or something. Okay, so it's telling me to tune up. Really? That's a bold strategy. Oh, he's doing lure, that's why. Loud and clear is doing the heavy lifting here. That's cool, too. It shows a little particle effects of the plus. So what is that? What is that particle effect? Does that increase him in some way? I haven't seen this before. This is completely new to me. The plus symbols, like the medic symbols. Let me see if there's something that comes up. He still has the effect. He still has the particle effect. I want to see this. No. Doesn't show anything. Interesting. I wonder how long it lingers for. Okay, now it's telling us to sound even though they're lured, which is okay, whatever, we'll deal with it. <clears throat> Only the level 9 is left. That's a cool animation, too. They do, like, a full arch after they uh, blow up. So now I got hit. Is he going to tune me up and I'm going to do something? Yeah. Okay, sound gives you an encore effect, which I did not even know about. All gags have a 10% effectiveness boost. Try using sound again, you'll become winded. So what does winded mean? If you use sound when you have encore, however, you'll become winded, which makes your sound gags weaker for a few turns. So this is how they combat sound spamming. So if you guys remember the old game, right, everybody would be spamming sound. If you didn't have sound, you were basically shunned. I mean, that was uh, Smirky, right, who didn't have sound, something like that, so it's tough, right? And making it so that this is no longer the absolute one trick makes it so there's a lot more room for, like, actual teamwork instead of it just being a game where you press the same key, press the same key, press the same key, press the same key, and you do the same combos over and over and over again. There's a little bit more strategy implemented, which is good. I think that it's probably necessary, as much as I love sometimes to just go through and press sound for everything, it makes more sense to have a negative for it. That's cool. I didn't even know that. So I'll do drop. So that status effect, too, of the sound means that Encore means that we should not use sound again, is essentially what the game's trying to get us to do. And they're going to punish us if we use sound and repeatedly use sound over and over and over again. And I wonder if the same is with this particle effect for the heal, so you can't spam heal over and over and over again. I'm not 100% sure on that. It doesn't have a status effect, so I gotta assume it's not the case. So you're ready to take on the cogs. You now have a very tough decision to make. Which two gag tracks will you start with? And this is something else, too, that they don't give you an option for in Rewritten. You start off with uh, throw and squirt. But this is a cool little training room, too. You got the one ton uh, the lifting station there. Punchline Gym. I'll just zap and squirt. Okay, we're heading out. Welcome back. Yep, sticker book. Here we go. Just like the other game was getting us to do as well. They love those red arrows. Okay, all the districts. I'm 
I'm telling you, man, under construction has got to be a rocket to a moon that's a whole new planet. Literally a whole new planet or a whole new world where all the cogs are harder and everything. Please, dude. I'm a simple man. Let my conspiracy theory come true. Go home, buddy. We'll take you to your tuna state. Mini games. And next. So you can swap your clothing here instead of having to go to the uh, estate and change it there, which is good. It was really silly that you couldn't do that before. Call gallery, close it. How do I, how do I say yes? Oh, now he's doing it, okay. Now he's giving a speed chat. So show, show chat log is cool too. That's definitely something that's not in rewritten and I feel like you need it, right? Or is it in rewritten? I haven't played any of these games in a while, man. I could be wrong on that. So speed chat. Stinky, where's Stinky? Battle. Okay, that could be taken the wrong way. Okay, what else is he giving me? Oh, an XP bar. Alright, going straight to the... Oh my gosh, there's stickers too. How do stickers work? Damn, dude. Animation too. Wow, they even explain this in like a cinematic form, dude. And look at this. There's a little task board here too. I saw this on the... I think it was the trailer or something. That's so nice that they explain all this shit for you. Okay, so now all I want to see now is the Toon Hall, and then we'll be done. Well, actually, I'll see the Toon Hall, and then I'll see the Task Board, and then I'll be done. I will leave you guys to your day. So it looks very similar to the other room in Rewritten. The only difference is that this is a club creation center, which, holy shit, did they finally make clubs? <laughs> Dude, I've been... I remember so long ago they had clubs for a brief period, and then, like, got removed or something like that. Dude, I don't even know. But I'm so glad clubs... Clubs would be so much freaking fun on this game. Oh, I'm definitely gonna make one. So there's a club shop, too. So instead of the silly meter, which in my opinion is fucking worthless, I'm sorry dude, I gotta say it, it's worthless, like, I get nothing from that, you know? Okay, so it looks very similar, it looks almost the same. New catalog. There's no way I can afford it, right? Only 20,000 beans, well, I'll just go into crippling fucking debt and I'll make one. Oh my god, dude, I gotta make a video now about the club. I gotta make a video about the club now. Would you guys like to see a video about the specifics of the club? This guy just straight up decimated me. You can't use the club shop without being in a club. Basically, I have no friends or click or group. So this is the last thing I wanted to see. Is this kudos board. What the hell? Hello? What did I do, dude? What did I do to this kudos board? No! Okay, well, we'll have to do it another time, dude, when it's not out of order. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to drop a like. I know it's a pretty basic video, but I wanted to draw a comparison between the two to see how much work they did. It seems like they did a really, really good job, especially in articulating and explaining things in a way to where people will not be confused and people will not be pissed off at each other, because this is a co-op game. So if you guys did enjoy the video, if you did, be sure to drop a like, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. I'll probably get back to streaming soon as well. Follow me on twitch.tv slash benroyko. Join the Discord, dude. Discord.gg slash royko64. Peace, guys. See ya.